Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about wiper switches, MGB wiper switches, 77 through 80. How to clean them, how to make them work again. But before I do, I want to tell you that I'm going to be at John Mangle's shop in St. Louis on September 27th. Uh, High Tech Collision, that's what he used to be called. He's got a new name, maybe I'll remember it by the time of the end of the video. But if you're from the greater St. Louis area, now you know about John, he's got an MG shop there, so it'd, it'd be a, a real fun time to, to see people there. Give John a call, maybe I'll come up with his phone number even by the end of the video. Anyway, Trevor's going to come on in and we're going to take a look at the wiper switch from the 77 through 80 MGB. So here we are in the park position, and you, you can see here that the these two uh, lugs here are connected by the roller here and then that's uh, that's off here we are in low speed see the roller connects these two here we are at high speed the roller connects these two and if we go back to off and we it's got a spring loaded part here and I maybe up inside here you can see this, it's hard for me to hold all this, but there is a spring down inside here that flicks when you go to uh, do the single wipe feature. So I'm going to take part of this apart here. I'll go ahead and get this guy off. You know, you're always afraid there's springs and balls and stuff's going to go flying. Well, this is one of those circumstances. So when we take this apart, we just have to be cautious. Easy for me to say here. Gosh. Come on. This guy does Oh, look at this. These are new ones. These are new ones that, that, that have a clip on the back so they won't pop apart. Is this cool or what? I have not seen this before. So I'm going to do my best to lever this guy off. I didn't even know it was there. Most of these that you deal with in, in your car don't have this. So when you take it out of the car, you have to be so very careful that it doesn't pop apart and you lose pieces. But anyway, we're going to try this here. Ouch. Remember, no animals were injured or killed during the making of this video. Here we go. We're almost, we're almost there. Come on. Okay. All right. Let me get him out of the way. Now we should be able to lift this thing out. Bingo. Okay. So what do we have here? We've got a spring. We have a roller. Let me get the roller out here. Got, here's the roller. He's jammed in here. There's the roller. And up inside here we have, this is still got all the factory grease. I looked for a good used one. Here's the plunger and here's the spring. So those are the pieces. Now what happens here is that this area in here gets all corroded. These get all, you know, got green on them and all corroded. And the roller gets all corroded. So what you have to do to make this switch work again is clean these. You do it abrasively. You can do it with a brush, a little wire brush, like this. And get in there and scrub at them. Uh, you could use a little tiny piece of sandpaper. We have the advantage here of having a, a sandblaster. So we take it to the sandblaster and just go and clean it up and get the roller clean and also clean up this. Now we're going to go in the other room and I'm going to explain what these terminals are for and how it works. Okay. Here we are in the other room. Uh, here's, here are the four pins. Here's the spring. When we have the roller here between low and park that allows the, the park circuit, which is always hot when the key is on um, and when the wiper motor is not parked, um, allows current to go up here and park the, park the circuit, uh, park the motor. So that, that's our park. And then when we move our switch to the next position, it combines our hot, which is green, with our low, which is light green with, with red makes our wipers run on, on low speed. And then when we move it up to the higher position, up here our roller moves up here 
and we go between hot and high. This is light green with blue. This is light green with red. So this is really the, the operational side here. Low speed, high speed, and then low speed over to park when, when we shut them off. Now when it's, when it's uh, off and down at the bottom position down, down here in park, and we move the handle up, it takes this wire, which is surrounding the green, and pushes this down and touches low. So it starts it. It starts it moving at low speed. You let it go, and it, it because the roller is sitting down here, it completes a park uh, cycle. So you just get one, one stroke of the wiper. So anyway, this spring is, is supposed to, to uh, go around the green one. You can get this in the wrong place, of course, so that it's supposed to go around the green one. Let's go out and back again and put that thing back together. All right, here we are. We've secured this in the vise, I hope, well enough. Here's our spring and our little plunger that go on the end, so he goes in here. Then um, remember here that I said that we had to have our spring wrapped around the green wire. So we put him in here, and then we give him a, a 180. Right now, somehow, we've got to get this into here, start him into here so their spring doesn't move, and push this whole thing together and get our roller into here, and my light is so crummy. There we go. Okay, so here, here we are in park. And you see how this how this wire moves here at the bottom. See how he moves off the green onto the low speed, that bottom wire. So here we are at park. And then here we are at low speed. Green with light green with red. And here we are at high speed. Green with light green with blue. So all you have to do is take him apart. I'm going to take him out of the vise here. And I'm going to do my best to put this... Put this uh, speed nut on the back and again I had not seen this before this is really nice otherwise these things pop apart like that and uh, I don't know if I can get this thing back on here by hand or whether we're gonna have to convince you we're gonna do that later on off camera and this is a There we go. He's on. He's all t together, and all we have to do is put our our washer and, and uh, nut back on the top here. So that's as simple as this switch. Obviously, if this end's broken, uh, you know you're, you're not going to fix it. Um, the other part of this that we didn't deal with was the washer, and I don't think we can probably get this apart and try. Now this end though unscrews. In another video on the wiper motor, uh, on the turn signal, we'll show that. But this this guy in the end unscrews and makes a contact between this um, green and black wire and black. And when you operate that, it makes the washer motor work. But this is the switch. It, if the switch is broken, obviously you have to buy a new one. But if it just doesn't work, or the action of the wipers is intermittent, take him apart and clean him. It'll save you a hundred bucks. Well, I didn't look for John Mangle's phone number because I forgot all, all about it. But um, if you're in the St. Louis area, or if you are watching this and you live around the St. Louis area and you'd like to come, we've got a whole day long uh, how to tune up your car coming up on Saturday, September 27th. Uh, anyway, thanks very much. We'll check in with you guys tomorrow.